Hi everyone, it's Irma here and in this video I want to talk about the difference between Visual Composer Website Builder and WP Bakery Page Builder. Let's start off by saying that they are two completely separate plugins and to clarify everything in this video we'll look into what makes the plugins different, what do they have in common, how to tell which plugin you have installed and the reasons for the notorious name change. The main differences are the following. First, the naming. Visual Composer Website Builder and WP Bakery Page Builder. Pay attention to the Website Builder versus the Page Builder part. So the Website Builder is the new and advanced plugin, while the Page Builder is the older product that had a name change. And I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Both plugins take care of the content part of your WordPress page, yet Visual Composer allows designing headers, footers and sidebars. Besides the theme default layout, Visual Composer gives you additional layout options. Both plugins have API, which allows creating custom elements for your projects, themes and add-ons. Visual Composer has a free version that is absolutely free and will always be free. Of course, there is also the premium version with a lot more features. You can also get the developer's license that allows building an unlimited amount of websites. WP Bakery Page Builder, on the other hand, has a regular and extended license that are both single site licenses. Can you integrate both plugins into your themes? Absolutely! And with the Website Builder, you can integrate the free version with no extra expenses at all. Visual Composer Website Builder has an online element and template library called Visual Composer Hub. Consider it as a cloud marketplace. There are more design options, meaning more parallax and other cool effects. The Website Builder is not based on shortcodes, so it is faster and doesn't create a shortcode mess. But don't worry, you can still insert shortcodes if you wish. And Visual Composer uses new technologies, and that means you get better performance, better SEO, and a lot more. Now that you know all the features, finding out which plugin you have installed on your site is really simple. First, just open the WordPress admin panel and navigate to plugins. And next, just take a look. Do you see the website builder or the page builder? And if by any chance the plugin you see is Visual Composer Page Builder, it seems like you might be outdated and you need to update ASAP. Now let's move on to the naming. Most people are already familiar with WP Bakery Page Builder, but the root to all misunderstandings has been the name change it had. The plugin was previously called Visual Composer Page Builder, but being forced by a well-known digital marketplace, we had to make the step in order to develop our new product and follow our vision. And that's where the new and improved Visual Composer Website Builder was born. At the moment, they are two different plugins by two different companies. Hopefully, now you have all the information you need to know the difference between Visual Composer Website Builder and WP Bakery Page Builder. And of course, you can find Visual Composer Website Builder at visualcomposer.com and you can find WP Bakery at wpbakery.com. Thank you all for watching and enjoy!